China is a nation that never accepts there are any people superior to them. If China comes in second, it won't let anyone else come in first. But unfortunately, China's space industry is being surpassed by a private rocket company, Elon Musk SpaceX. Up till now, all of their efforts to shut them down are completely futile. So what is China planning to do to reverse the situation? And how does Elon Musk react to it? Let's find out all in today's episode of Alpha Tech Channel. But before we go into how China will be desperate to humiliate SpaceX and Elon Musk, it should be briefly pointed out how complicated the relationship is between Musk and this powerful country. In fact, Musk and China have a very tangled relationship together. It has at times been incredibly friendly and complimentary, and at other points been downright combative. Back in 2020, Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk lamented the entitled and complacent character of the people in the United States and lauded the smart and hardworking people of China. Specifically, Musk said, China rocks in my opinion. The energy in China is great. People there, it's like a lot of smart, hardworking people. And they're really not entitled, they're not complacent, whereas I see in the United States increasingly much more complacency and entitlement, especially in places like the Bay Area and LA and New York. In 2019, Chinese government officials helped Tesla secure loans worth around $1.6 billion to construct and begin manufacturing vehicles at the company's relatively new Shanghai factory. This makes Musk and China sound like they get along great. But in November of 2020, things became quite rocky when Musk accused a rival Chinese company known as Xping of stealing source codes for Tesla electric vehicles and Apple's source code for its AR technology, LiDAR. When Musk accused Xping of stealing from him and Apple, he essentially accused China itself by proxy. After Musk's accusations toward Xping, things got pretty chilly between he and China. However, as of March 2021, it seems everyone is warming up to each other again. In a recent interview with China Central Television, which is owned by the Chinese government, Musk said how in the long run the nation would be his biggest market for Tesla. It seems Musk is on good terms with China again, as he's not only getting along with the government, but is a major celebrity among Chinese citizens as well. Musk is often talked about by the Chinese citizens as an iconic and impressive figure. However, none of this makes China feel any more at ease with letting SpaceX degrade its space industry. SpaceX Falcon 9 has been dominating the world rocket industry, but things are more worrisome for China as SpaceX is on the verge to fly the most powerful rocket, Starship. Unsurprisingly, China's launch vehicle makers are designing a fully reusable version of the Long March 9 Super Heavy Lift rocket, which is needed for future mega projects. The giant rocket would consist of three stages and four side boosters, with the first stage and boosters using a kerosene and liquid oxygen propellant mix. The presentation, made in July, comes shortly ahead of the first orbital test flights for the expendable space launch system and SpaceX's fully reusable Starship. Methane liquid oxygen offers advantages in performance and reduces issues of soot formation and coking for purposes of reusability. The plan follows the trend of SpaceX, Blue Origin, and United Launch Alliance in switching to the fuel. It also follows a smaller two-stage methane liquid oxygen launcher concept, apparently drawing on SpaceX's Starship, presented by Wang Zhiyun, president of the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology. This announcement by China quickly caught the attention of the whole rocket industry and, of course, of SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. Musk congratulated China's move of approving expendable rocket launchers. He said on Twitter on July 22nd, Interesting, smart move by China. Expendable rockets have no future. SpaceX develops reusable launcher rockets for their orbital launch systems. The company's vision is a persistent and long-term mission with its first stage returning to the launch site in minutes and the second stage returning to the launch pad following the orbital realignment with the launch site and atmospheric re-entry. Elon Musk is well aware of the global energy crisis, which will prompt the future of reusable technology. And China is clearly following exactly what Musk is doing. But can this help China overtake SpaceX? Well, followers are always behind. Let's dive into the detailed comparison between SpaceX Starship and Long March 9. The first feature we'll compare is the size of both launch vehicles. While the size of a rocket is primarily just propellant storage, it can still play an important role in the different capabilities of the launch vehicle. 
Starting with the Long March 9, which stands at 103 meters tall and 9.5 meters to 10 meters wide, the width comes from the first stage primary booster along with four additional boosters attached to the core stage. In comparison, Starship is working out to be a consistent 9 meters wide throughout the entire launch vehicle and 120 meters tall. In terms of volume, Starship is the bigger rocket. Looking at Starship size and capabilities, this will help provide more space for more cargo. Practically all of the Starship boosters would be filled with propellant and about two-thirds of the upper stage as well. This still leaves a significant amount of room for satellites, humans, etc. And as for the Long March 9, the majority of the rocket is propellant storage through the multiple boosters on the first stage. The next metric we'll focus on is power, and this is one area where Starship really stands out compared to current, past, and future launch vehicles. A full Starship stack, including a Super Heavy with over 39 Raptor engines, will produce around 17 million pounds of max thrust. The Long March 9 is not expected to have nearly as much power. Looking at the estimated payload capacities to low Earth orbit is where the comparison gets interesting. SpaceX's Starship is working towards bringing between 100 and 150 tons into low Earth orbit. The Long March 9 has an estimated payload to LEO of 140 to 150 tons. This is arguably the most impressive stat regarding the Long March 9. If development is successful and the payload to LEO estimate is correct, it would be extremely impressive. While the power and size of a launch vehicle are important, an affordable cost per launch can determine how often the rocket actually flies. Practically all aspects of Starship have been designed with cost per launch in mind. This includes build materials, development, manufacturing, and reusability. SpaceX and Elon Musk have mentioned that Starship's future cost per launch goal is $2 million. If successful, Starship would practically break the space industry with a launch cost that low. SpaceX could easily afford to consistently build and launch Starship. It's unclear the cost per launch of China's Long March 9. However, we can safely assume it'll be nowhere near 2 million per launch. The last factor we want to compare is current progress. Starship is much further along than the Long March 9. The first orbital flight of Starship is planned next month. Long March 9 plans to be ready by 2035. Starship has gone through a long list of tests, including cryogenic, static fire, 150-meter hops, and 10-kilometer flights. The Long March 9 is still at its beginning. China space is nearly a decade behind SpaceX. But, as you know China's combative nature, we'll have to wait and see how each rocket develops and what its impact is on the future. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget to share your ideas in the comments section. Everyone's support will be the motivation for us to create more quality content. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.